is up guys it's the scripting legend here and today i am back in another roblox scripting video <clears throat> and today i'm going to be showing you how to make your very own flashlight in roblox so uh let's get started before we start scripting just click on lighting um and go down to uh, where is it all right go down to time of day and just set it to zero. Alright, so here we are. So it's nighttime now. So that we can see the flashlight in effect. Alright, so now we're just gonna open up the toolbox and search for a flashlight. The flashlight. Alright, just gonna grab this one just Put it in here, just hit no if it asks you that. All we want is this handle and the light part. Alright, and just delete anything inside of it, inside of those two things. Okay, not the mesh. And leave the mesh in the handle. That was my bad, guys. Alright, and um, now we can just delete the tool. Alright, so now what we're going to do is just, we can, um, just grab them both. Grab both of them, and then just drag them down to the, um, base plate. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the, um, light part. If, um, you know, actually, I'm just going to delete this. We're going to make the flashlight completely by ourselves. It's not going to look very nice. You guys can make it look nice, but it's just gonna be like a quick little little flashlight that we're gonna make. Can add like a sphere. Just get it down, drag it over here, and over here. Just make it a little bigger. to like stick out a little all right and um now we can grab a cylinder cylinder just line it up with the sphere then just drag it in a little um I go to model make it a negative part and then click on um then hit shift and click on the uh, sphere and then hit union okay so now it looks like that which is good um we can just make both of these yellow but for the union it won't change color so we have to go down this properties to use part color all right so there it is all right now let's just add another cylinder in here Alright, let's use the move tool and just like drag it in here. That, and then like that. Take it a little bit more. Drag it up a little. Alright, um, let's scale it down here. That's, um, let's just make a new yellow. New yellow. Alright, we'll make it about this long. Then we'll um we'll duplicate it. We'll make it go out a little. We'll give it some transparency. Um we can just scale it down a little. So that's on the inside. And um now what we can do is like actually make it um go like over both sides, just make it negative actually. Um, actually, before we do that, we're gonna wanna duplicate it. So, um, just duplicate it. And now we'll make it one of them negative and select the middle part, hit union. Alright, so now it's like that. Now we can grab this part and um, scale it into here. Scale it into the flashlight. 
which now has the hole, so um, you can get rid of that transparency. Actually, just give it a little. We can change the color to like um, I don't know, like this gold, I guess. Alright, so obviously the flashlight doesn't look good. Maybe it'll look a little better. Just or let's not do that. Alright, so it doesn't look good at all, but um, that's against the point. So just click the part inside. Rename that to light part. Light part. Now grab everything, everything, and then in the explorer, um, just uh, hit Control C and click light part so that it unselects that. Now we can hit Union for all of the all three other ones. All right, so now this is how it is. All right, so now what we can do is inside of um. Uh, we actually have to rename this um, union to handle. Then we're going to put light part inside of handle, and then inside of light part, we're going to insert a spotlight. Spotlight. All right, and we're gonna um, have to just change some stuff up in over here. We'll make the color to like yellow. I want to be yellow. Alright, but as you see, it um, goes the other way. What if we put the angle to zero? Or um, what if we put it to 45? I don't even see the light anymore. Yeah, let's put the brightness up so that we can see where the light is. Alright, so it's over there. We put angle to zero. And it's not there anymore. And what if we put the angle to like one or something? Is the light like underground? Um, I'm not sure. Let's um, we just have to change this up a little. All right, just leave the range at sixteen. Put the angle back to ninety. Um, yeah, let's just make it go off. Okay. Oh, okay, so we just have to change the face actually. So, um, left, left, yep, alright, that's how we want it. And then we'll put it down. We'll be like right about here. Um, Flashlights don't have that much range, so let's just to bring this down a little and the range down just a little. Actually, no, lift the range at 18, and um, that's nice. All right, so now we just have to disable um the spotlight. So where it says um enable, just uncheck that. Now um inside of Actually, what we have to do is inside a workspace, we have to insert a tool, and um, we can rename this tool to flashlight. Flashlight. All right, and um, just put handle inside a flashlight. Can remove this touch and stress inside of the handle. We're going to insert a local script. And we're going to do local light is equal to script dot parent dot handle dot light part dot spotlight. And we're going to do script dot parent dot activated colon connect whoops colon connect function. Alright, and now we're going to do um light dot um dot enabled is equal to not light dot enabled all right so now um let's just put this into the starter pack hit play wait for it to load Alright, go to flashlight. It's not really 
being held the right way. Alright, so yeah, that's the problem. We have to weld these two, so I'm going to use my weld plugin. I'll link this plugin in the description. So, just what we're going to have to do is select the handle and light part, go to plugins, welding, and create weld profile. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to select the flash, actually, go and drag the flashlight into workspace, select the flashlight tool, hit tool grip editor. I'll also link this in the description. And just so that we can make him hold it like that. You can hit Z to switch between on rotating and moving. Like I was just doing. Alright, and then once you're done, just um click off just click off with the plugin, drag the tool back into starter pack, and almost test this again. Alright, so we can hold it. We're holding it like this now. Um, the light part is inside, so if we click, then um, our light comes on. We can walk around, and um, if we click again, it's off. Okay. Um, but if you click it on, and um, then you like unequip it. When you equip it again, it's gonna be on. So um. If you like that, then that's fine. Um, you can end the video here. Um, you can just remember to leave a like and subscribe and turn on notifications. But um, if you want it to um, turn off, like uh, the next time you equip it, just stay with me here. So go back into the local script. We're going to drop two lines after the function. And we're going to do script.parent.unequipped colon connect function then we're going to do light dot enabled is equal to false all right so now if we hit play hit play this should work so we could equip the flashlight there Turn it on, it works, we can turn it off just by clicking again. So if we turn it on, then if we unequip it, next time we equip it, the light is off. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed and this helped you out, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications below so that you never miss out on a brand new tutorial. And I'll see you in the next one.